Hey there, everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you are choosing to watch this video. Um, so what I'm going to be sharing with you today is a description of the presentation project that you are going to be doing in Ocean 101. So a couple of things to note. Um, I'm making one video for both of my um, lab classes. Just please keep in mind that one of you are an online class and the other of you are in the in-person class. So there's a few minor differences between the two and it's really just um, uh, just a few kind of directions and things you have to do that are a little bit different. Um, and that's just because in the online version, um, we're gonna do, instead of doing it in class um, on Zoom, you're gonna um, either just present to me one-on-one, -on -one, like on my office hours, or you can upload a recording. Either one of those is okay, um, but if you're in my in-person class, you do have to um, record, or not record in person, you do have to be there in person, and I won't be recording you, okay? So uh, just some little minor uh, things to keep in mind. So you may be asking yourself, well, son of a sea biscuit, why do I have to do a project? Um, it's within the curriculum of, uh, of this class and I can't take that part out. Um, so if I were to get audited or evaluated, I have to show that you all did a project. So something to maybe keep in mind, if you did a project for your Ocean 100 lecture class, um, you're welcome to do something similar. Though I will say, if you're in my in-person lab at Skyline, um, not everyone is gonna be able to do the same topic um, as someone else. So that might be where it gets a little bit dicey. If you're in the online version, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever, um, whatever topic you would like. And if you're in my lecture, I highly recommend doing the same topic that you did for your letter project, just that way you don't have to do any more research on top of what you've already done. So um, just to share um, where these resources are at, um, for both classes, it doesn't matter which one you're in. If you go to modules and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, um, below key points, there is a projects module. So there's an overall overview here, a couple of websites, one to potentially help with ideas, another one to find good sources, um, and then further details are listed under here. If you're in Skyline's uh, in-person lab, the few things that you will find different will be that there is a Google form for you to um, fill out for choosing a topic, um, your top three or four choices, and then I will assign the topic after some folks um, actually fill in that Google form. So again, if you are in the Kenyatta online version, you do not have to worry about this, but if you are in my in-person Skyline version, you do have to worry about that, um, or complete that, I guess I should say. Regardless, um, basically the idea here is that you are going to create um, a five to 10 minute PowerPoint presentation. It can be another sort of software if you want, um, like Canva or Google Slides or whatever. Um, and But the main thing is I want you to include pictures or figures, like a graph or something, um, with descriptions listed below in a sort of caption-like format. Just like if you were to read a news article or when you're scrolling through Instagram, read the caption, right? So same thing, create a caption, describe what we are looking at. Um, and I will also say for either one, this is an optional group project um, with a limit of four folks per group. Um, but you are more than welcome to do this solo. I just personally, Never liked uh, forced group work because it. Uh, I was always the person who did everything. <laughs> so I don't force the group project on you, but if you do wanna do it, you're welcome to do so. Um, overall, this project is extraordinarily open-ended. You have a lot of creative freedom here. I want you to choose a topic that you either really want to learn more about or that you are very passionate about. Um, it's something that makes you excited, right? Because that truly is the key for success. Um, I really want you to get you to have fun, uh, be creative, do some research on an area of interest, etc. cetera. Um, I have a list of topics below the rubric here, um, so be sure to check out that list. It is not an all-inclusive list though. Um, I guarantee you that you can bring any part of the environment 
um, back into whatever hobby or area of interest that you have. I guarantee it. I'm happy to spitball ideas with you um, if you are having troubles coming up with a topic. But by Sunday, May 5th, which is, is kind of a ways from now, so I wanted to give you a little bit of time to, um, to investigate, to research, to think about what you wanna do, but I wanted to see like a rough outline, like give me some bullet points, um, at least three to five viable sources, no particular format is required though, like a simple URL is fine with me. Your overall expectations doesn't matter what sort of format you choose to do the presentation in. Everybody has the same sort of skeleton expectations. Give me some sort of introduction and motivation. Tell me why you chose the topic. Give me a brief little kind of explanation of what you're looking at. Describe the phenomena or issue that you're considering if you're doing um, and give me some examples or provide a case study uh, of whatever you're looking at. I will say, if you choose a specific event, like say um, say your family was severely impacted by Hurricane Maria coming through Puerto Rico, awesome. Then when if you're doing a specific event, then basically these two bullet points of number two and number three, those are basically the same thing, right? Because you're going to be describing Hurricane Katrina and the damages caused, monetary, psychological, yada, 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 when it occurred, why it happened, et cetera. Um, so that is your case study, basically. I'm not saying that doing a particular uh, event or specific event is easier. I'm just saying that those two bullet points kind of mix together if you're doing a particular specific event. Conclude out the project um, or the presentation. Don't just say, and that's all, folks. Uh, <laughs> um, or, you know, Hurricane Katrina caused eight point bajillion dollars worth of damages. Right. Okay. So like, like wrap things up, have a nice conclusion. What sort of conclusion would you want to see if you were seeing a presentation? Um, I need good sources, my friends. Wikipedia and YouTube do not count as your main sources. Do you want to use a short YouTube video? Sure. Um, not a five minute one. That's just going to take up space. Okay. Nice try. Um, but using like a YouTube documentary or whatever is not a viable source. Anybody can make a YouTube video and call it truth. Anybody can post anything on Wikipedia and call it truth, but we know it's not. Okay, so use good viable sources. Um, definitely include pictures or figures. Pictures and figures speak more than words, so definitely um, wow us with those. Biggest thing that students lose points on is not including your own captions, so be sure to include captions. Um, and are you ready and good to present? Um, are you put together? Is it not rushed? Did you practice? Um, I can pretty well sense if you are simply nervous or if you put together the slides two minutes before class. It's a pretty obvious distinction. Um, don't be the person that's working on slides while other folks are presenting in class if you're in my in-person class, right? So please don't do that. Um, it's been done before. So overall for a total of um, 100 points. Honestly, generally students do really, really, really well with this project. Even if you're someone who hates public speaking, like usually students do very, very well. So um, don't freak out, don't fret. If you're in my, if you're in Skyline, like your class is amazing. Don't even worry about it. I make a fool of myself in front of class all the time. Don't even, don't even um, stress. Don't trip, you'll do just fine. So here's a potential uh, potential list of topics. Um, some of them are kind of a little bit more weather related, but weather and ocean are two very, um, they act on each other pretty well. Um, and then some of them are more so like revolving around climate change um, and environmental conservation efforts, um, making your industry more uh, sustainable. Um, talking about the impacts of COVID on the environment, myths of recycling, um, what are some other things? Coral bleaching and coral restoration, um, stuff like that. I think I have more on a different, um, on a, on the Skyline one actually, so I can update that. Um, so I think I was updating this the other day. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see here. Celebrity carbon footprints. That one's really interesting. Narcotics or pharmaceuticals in our waterways and water systems. Um, oil companies hiding the impacts of fossil fuels on climate change. That one's kind of a fun and interesting one. 
um, or impacts of data centers on climate change. That basically is talking about um, like how Google and Apple, we have these things called the cloud, right? Well, how much computer power does that cloud require? And how much energy does that consume? And like how much, um, how do you keep those computers cool? Stuff like that. So kind of a, an interesting, an interesting way to to view that idea. Um, and fast fashion is another very uh, popular topic as well. So I encourage you take a peek through that list. Um, see if anything tickles your fancy. If not, you know, you're we're more than welcome to have a conversation. It does not matter if you are like into um, cinema. There's lots of ways you can talk about sustainability in the cinema and film industry. If you're into sports, there's a a myriad of different ways in which sports industry is not very sustainable at all. Nike, I'm looking at you. Um, but, you know, we can dive further into, you know, spitballing ideas as needed um, as as those issues arise. If you already know what you want to do, awesome. If you're in Skyline uh, class, please fill out the Google Forms so I can get the topics assigned so you can start working on research. Um, if you are in my um, online class, just make sure that um, you are working on this idea um, and let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Also, a slight disclaimer, um, this is for spring of 2024, so if this video is used for future semesters, just pay attention to any sort of due dates that may be altered. So, thank you so, so much. Reach out if you have any questions, and I'll see you all on the flippy floppy. Thank you.